this one? Alright, this one. Okay. Alright. Look at this. He chose the angel card for you, Taurus. Beautiful Taurus. This is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Hey, you guys. I missed you. <laughs> I've been gone a little while on vacation, and even us psychics need a break, right? And Chippy and I had a great time, and we're ready to dive into your reading. So let's see what's coming up for you, Taurus. Chippy, you want your cookie? You're waiting patiently on your cookie, aren't you, buddy? Okay. There. Chippy wants to say hi to all you Taurus. He's looking extra scruffy today. I think he needs a little grooming job after his um, <laughs> excursion. <laughs> okay, so let's see Taurus. Let's see what's coming up for you. I've already pre-shuffled, but I like to just kind of mix some of your energy into the cards. And Chippy likes to, too. You gonna pick a card for Taurus? Here. Here, you want to? All right, here, you pick a card. Which one? That one? All right. Okay, Chippy says you're going to be getting some kind of good news, you guys. Look at this page of wands. Thank you, Chippy. Here you go. One more cookie. <laughs> all right, page of wands from Chippy. You know, this is all about good news. This is messages with good news. So let's just start there. Let's go in and let's clarify that. <laughs> That's fun. Thanks, Chippy. He really loves you guys. I tell you, there's something about your Taurus energy. Yeah, so you're going to be getting some kind of good news that gets you out of a situation of feeling kind of blah or feeling kind of discontent. You want to choose more? All right, here. You want to pick another one? Which one? Show me, show me which one. You got to be this one? All right, this one. Okay. All right. Look at this. He chose the angel card for you, Taurus. That's amazing. Thank you, Chippy. Um, this is the temperance card, okay? I, Chippy wants to do your reading tonight, obviously. <laughs> he missed you too. Um, this is all about flow of energy, a flow of energy and your angels. And I often see angels in Taurus readings. I really do. So I feel like a couple of things here that Chippy's cards are saying is you're going to be getting good news that's going to be almost like divine guidance or divine intervention or uh, divine messages. I would look for messages from your angels, literally. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like you might have been feeling kind of discontent. These are the three cards that he pulled. So yeah. Thank you, Chippy. Okay. Here. <laughs> all right. We're all out of cookies. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that's Chippy's reading. Let's dive into my reading for you and we'll see if it's um, as good. <laughs> okay. All right. Chippy and I are a good team, though. We work together on this stuff, don't we? He's very psychic. He really is. You know, he grew up with me, so he's very in tune with this sort of thing. You're a really good boy. All right. Let's see what's coming for Taurus. Oh, we got the moon. There's something about the moon. Full moon and Ace of Wands. You really want to just do this whole reading, don't you? Are you serious? You want to pull more cards? Do you? Wow. Taurus, I'm going to go with this because he's really being quite insistent. I already went through this part. Let's, let's see. Do you want to pick another one? You pick one. Which one you want to pick? That one? All right, Chippy also says watch out for a tricky person, the magician, but also you're going to be manifesting things. Chippy, Chippy, why don't you clarify that? Come on, you clarify it. Which one? That one. Okay, this one? Is that right? Okay. You hermit. <laughs> okay, so Taurus, I wasn't expecting your reading to go this way, but I do give my dogs um, credit for their inner wisdom and yeah there's something here about your inner wisdom chippy chose this hermit card next to the magician like you're using your inner wisdom and your old soul kind of wisdom that you came through with to manifest what you want and this is part of why you're getting good news and also why the angels are looking over you in that way okay Thank you, Chippy, very much. All right. 
back to my reading. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, Taurus, it looks like some of you are making some kind of slow, steady progress here. Um, I want to say you're waiting on some kind of a new beginning, all right? And I want to say you are making slow, steady progress. And here's another angel card that I pulled. This is the star. You've got lots of angels showing up in these cards already, <laughs> okay? And I just feel like the angels are watching out for you. I feel like you're really in touch with the divine at this time, and I feel like you're really on your course you're in but you're in you're more than on your path you're on this divinely guided path is what I'm seeing and you are making progress look at these two in particular really caught my eye yeah knight of pentacles the slow steady progress being guided by angels see he's done talking to you now he's gonna go do his nap now <laughs> okay <laughs> all right um and a whole new path i feel like you've gone on this whole new path now let's see what's coming up in your future and i should have said we're looking into the whole month of september for you taurus okay the whole month of september and we want to see what's coming up um immediately in the first week of September, like this week when you see this, okay? Okay, some kind of victory. Something about you getting what you want. I tell you, you know, um, Chippy had pulled this magician card with you manifesting things. And here it is, I think you might be manifesting this victory that I'm seeing in your immediate future, okay? Let's see what else. I am pulling these by feel for you. Um, yeah some kind of whole transition coming up this is the more extended future and I'm going to clarify all of this in a second I'm just getting an overview right now but we've got um, like an ending and a new beginning some kind of a big transition coming up more towards the end of the month um, more extended future so again we're looking at all the all the weeks of September now other people are seeing you as feeling maybe like you've gone through a betrayal Taurus some people are seeing you as maybe sad some people are seeing you like oh I wonder if Taurus would take me back <laughs> there's something there about the old person wanting to maybe uh, try to return or something like they're watching you a little bit they're like I wonder if Taurus is available single um, amenable to this things like that okay We've got, and that could be your tricky energy. You know, the magician comes with a tricky energy as well. So we've got Knight of Swords. Yeah, that's your person coming and going, like fast moving energy. Somebody that comes in, creates a lot of conflict, and then leaves again with this Knight of Swords, okay? And your final outcome is Page of Pentacles. This has come up a lot. Sometimes this is the going back to school card. So. It could be that for some of you, you, your kids, somebody who's going back to school. It can also be messages about money. And you did get the message um, in Chippy's pull of the cards with good news right off the bat. So you may be getting good news about money and what you don't see coming. Yeah, you're getting good news about money, all right. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, <laughs> okay. Wow. First thing I'm seeing here is there are lots of blessings. There are lots and lots of blessings here, Taurus. Wow. I mean, you've got, you've got angel cards here as shown here, okay? The star and the temperance card. You've got progress. You've got ace of wands and ace of pentacles. So new beginnings, new passionate new beginnings on a personal level and a financial level, resources, lots of new things coming in. You do, you may have this person from the past going, hey Taurus, let's revisit this. Okay, um, just as a warning <laughs> for most of you. And something about a victory. Look at this victory in your immediate future, Taurus. So let's do some clarification. Let's dig at this a little bit and see what we've got this is really really interesting and it's double layered because chippy pulled some cards for you so um really interesting really really interesting okay let's start with the moon okay i think for some of you the moon is a timing card i think september's full moon is going to 
some things are going to really happen. The energy is going to be very strong for you around that time. Let's see what's the moon mean specifically. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, you know, I'm just so tuned in to you all, Taurus, and I, I just wanted to tell you I am glad to be back with you. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm visiting with old friends when I sit down to do these readings with you. It's, and I'm sure you are old friends. I'm sure there have been past lives with a lot of you, but I do. I feel your energy, and so does he. So he's over there napping and doing his little chippy dog thing now. Okay, so the full moon. You might be feeling a little discontent during the full moon. You might be like, okay, I've, I've succeeded with all of this. I've put things in all those three cups. What do I want to put in this fourth cup? You know, there's like, what do I want to put there? Finances, money. <laughs> okay, so I feel like during this moon period, which is really significant in September, I feel like some of you are going to really be um, looking into your financial stability with this Ten of Pentacles that came up. I feel like you're going to really want to make something last, you know, like you might be coming into a new cycle. The moon can represent cycles as well. So there's something about money. This is such a good reading, Taurus. I'm excited. Yeah, you might be putting money in one place, you know, juggling, juggling money, but not in a bad way. All right, what is this Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands, new beginnings, new passionate beginnings, but it is in the conflict position. So why, why is that? Let's see. Let's see, Taurus, Ace of Wands in the conflict position. Wow, I got distracted because just for a second, because I'm in my psychic mode right now, I just flipped over into this, this so weird, I just flipped over into this alternate reality. And I think some of you are doing this, which is why they're having me do this, because I'm reflecting your energy right now. Some of you might be having dreams about alternate realities, and you might be connecting with people that you don't know here, but you know in those alternate realities, or, or people you do know, but they look really different in this alternate reality. I find, I find that sort of thing really fascinating. I think some of you are having that happen, and this might be why your new beginnings are a challenge at this time, because I flipped over into that for just a split second when I was tuning into this new, these big new beginnings with this Ace of Wands. So you, what I'm trying to say, it's complicated. What I'm trying to say is this new beginning may be taking place on several realities. Okay, and it may be creating a challenge for you in this reality because it's a challenge in another reality. There are many, especially for advanced souls like you guys, you know, if you're coming in to watch this channel, you know, you're, you're way on up there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you get it. You've been working on this, you know, you've been working on your spirituality, obviously, with all these angel cards. So there's something there about you having more going on than just this life right now. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well. It's very deep. I wasn't expecting this sort of message to come through, but there it is. There's something about an alternate reality. Let's, I'll see if they give us more stuff about that. But it's something about it's creating a challenge in this life because there's a challenge somewhere else to be solved too. And you may be solving that in your dream state or probably dream state. Maybe through meditation, mostly through dream state. Wow, okay Taurus, your reading is going in so many directions tonight. I wasn't expecting any of this, you know, like chippy to do the cards, the alternate reality. Let's see what this says. Yeah, you're growing something. Look at this. You're growing and nurturing. So this new real this new this new beginning you want with this ace of wands, which is a passionate new beginning, like exciting, something that really lights you up, lights a fire under you. It comes from you growing it. And we saw that earlier, growing your money, wanting your financial independence, your financial stability. This is also a financial stability card, growing money. But it's by nurturing it, it's by focusing on it, okay? And we did get the manifesting and focusing card, Chippy did, with this magician earlier, okay? Yeah, and you're using your intuition. 
you know, and this can definitely be kind of um, talking about those alternate realities as well, because when you're using your intuition and your psychic eye, um, you know, you see more than what's just in front of you, you know, like this table. <laughs> There's a lot more, you know, going on. Okay. Whew. I ground myself here. <laughs> this is crazy. You know what happened? And I do like to take these long breaks sometimes because what happens is, you know, um, for me anyway, when I do a lot, a lot, a lot of psychic stuff, the third eye starts to get a little muddy sometimes. So when I take these long breaks and I come back, I'm like, whew, clear, <laughs> like crystal clear. And stuff comes through like um, really strongly and really clearly and things that I wasn't at all expecting. So this is what's happening, Taurus. And it's, it's because I took the break and it's because I'm so tuned into you all as a collective, okay? Okay. All right. There we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys like this reading. I feel like I'm all over the place, but a lot's coming through. That's why. So, okay, here you go. Star, you're going to be in the limelight. You're going to have success and you might feel like things are moving slowly, but it's, it's progressive. It's a slow progressive kind of energy that's coming through. So let's clarify this slow moving but progressive success that you're getting the angels shining down on you and the stars lining up for you and this is all in your energy taurus this is um this is how you're going to be feeling and what's going to be happening for you in september yeah here's the hermit chippy pulled this too <laughs> here's the hermit card twice this is inner wisdom i was just talking about that inner wisdom and this comes from not just this lifetime, but many lifetimes. This comes from the whole, you know, the whole of who you are, who your soul is, and what you've learned. And this is why the stars are lining up for you. This is why I say this repeatedly to you all. You have good karma, Taurus. You do. You have really good karma. But you've earned it. <laughs> you know, you've cut out things that didn't work. Here's your new beginning. There's lots of new beginnings showing up here. And I feel like it, you're getting some kind of cloud with the silver lining with this. Something you cut out, you know, you said goodbye to, but something even better is coming in. And some of you are this Queen of Cups energy as well. So there's something here. There's something here about this really intuitive, uh, nurturing heart-centered kind of energy with all of this clarifying the star and the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is also known as the bee healer. You know, she, uh, he or she can be the person who's really into nature, really loves animals, <laughs> dogs like Chippy. Um, you know, why he vibes with you all so much. And the stars lining up for you. All of this is, if I'm explaining this right, all of this is the whole of the Taurus collective and it it's it's about money it's about new beginnings it's about nature it's about you being heart-centered it's about your inner wisdom and what you've learned over this lifetime and many lifetimes this is a big reading Taurus you know and I feel like all of this is coming about in this new cycle that you're going to be coming up in in September there's a new cycle here and it's very divinely inspired. It really is. I feel like you're going to feel a lot of your amazing good karma coming through to you in September. Some of you may be a mother. This can be a mother card. And you may be thinking a lot about your mother or motherhood or things like that at this time. Let's go over to... Let's clarify Chippy's Temperance card for you in the month of September. Why did he feel that temperance card for you? You know, temperance is a flow of energy. It's an angelic card, as you can see. It can, for some of you, represent a Sagittarius personality uh, person. Let's see, let's clarify temperance. Hmm. Potentially new love, okay? New love came up next to temperance, so some of you may be falling in love with the Sagittarius or something new is starting there. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Um, this, this is somebody new. 
This is somebody new. Now this can be a king or queen of pentacles. Collective reading, so take it as it resonates. But there's new love coming with this very financially grounded person who shows up as a temperance who could be Sagittarius, all right? Could be. It's not going to be every, you know, obviously not everybody, but... Yeah, could be somebody younger, could be somebody with children, could be somebody just very playful and fun, you know, page of cups here. Some kind of message of um, good news, like a romantic message coming up. And in fact, speaking of good news, this was the first card that uh, Chippy pulled, page of wands, the good news card. Let's clarify that. Okay, Taurus, let's see. Page of wands. What does Taurus need to know about? Clarifying page of wands. It's clarified by really fast moving energy. Like this news is going to rush in, rush in. You're not going to see it coming. <laughs> okay. Um, and I think it's going to really stir you up. It's going to end your discontent. Can't get this card out. Four of cups. That's a discontent card. Reverse. It's going to, whatever this good news is, you're not going to feel discontent anymore. Whew, here's your good karma card. Here's judgment. So this good news is all about, it's going to cause some kind of a major life change, Taurus. And I feel like it is very strongly in the month of September. I mean, that's what I'm looking into. So um, major life changes, good karma, and it comes rushing in. It ends your discontent of any sort. Here's discontent also couple of these discontent cards came up okay so yeah lots of changes lots of changes coming in there I love this judgment card I mean it's it's a powerful major arcana card and it's having to do with your good news <laughs> okay Whew. wow Taurus this reading's kind of mind-blowing to me is it mind-blowing to you let me know in the comments if you like this reading please give it a like and also, while I'm thinking about it, check your subscriptions. Some people have been unsubscribed. <coughs> Excuse me. There's some kind of a um, glitch in the YouTube system or something that unsubscribes people. I think they think people are bots or something. So if you're not a bot, please subscribe. Check your subscription. Okay. We're going to clarify your victory card. Okay. You've been working really hard for this victory, first of all. Um, this is not something that drops in your lap. This is something that you have been doing the work on. All right. And let's see. What about this victory? <laughs> Somebody may have tried to keep you from winning this. Now, you've been growing this all along. Here's the Seven of Pentacles. I'll show you all these cards in a second. But you're winning. You're winning, winning. Okay. So... Clarifying the Six of Wands, which is your victory card. It's clarified by, look how hard you've worked to get it. Here's Ten of Wands, okay? You've been really working towards this. You've been really, really focused on this. And you have been growing it, all right? So you've earned this. You've earned this big victory, this big win that's coming up in your immediate future in September. There seems to have been somebody sneaky who either tried to take this from you or uh, throw it off in some way. And maybe at some point you even felt like giving up, okay? But you didn't. You kept going. You're getting this victory. And um, it's clarified further by this Four of Wands energy. Now, Four of Wands is a really happy card. And this has to do with happy relationships, maybe a new home. It can have to do with a really um, nice vacation, something like that. It can have to do with marriage. So for some of you... Um, this is, you know, going to represent your win. Maybe some of you are getting married and that's what you have been manifesting. Okay. Do watch out for that sneaky energy that kind of wants to come in there and throw it off. It's not a big warning. It's a little warning, but it's there. Okay. Let's ask about, there's going to be some kind of ending and new beginning, whole transition, whole new beginning there for you. There's lots of new beginnings. There's the Ace of Wands here. There was the Ace of Pentacles earlier. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and you're getting your wish. <laughs> yeah, okay. So your new, your endings and new beginnings is you've wished for this. You've wanted this to happen and it's coming in. Now this is more extended future. So on out in September, but look at this Taurus. You're getting your wish. Again, this reading is mind blowing. <laughs> this is like so good and it's going in so many directions. You know, some of what happens is when I take a break, then the, the information builds up. And so when I come in to sit down to do it, it's like, boom, here's all the, here's all the information. It's just like this huge download coming in for you. Whew. All right. What else do we need to know? Let's clarify this page of Pentacles. This one I'm, I'm not sure about. Page of Pentacles is your final outcome. Let's see what we've got. Page of Pentacles. Some of you might be walking away from something or maybe you've said goodbye to something and it's bringing in a sum of money. Yeah, like I feel like you've said goodbye to one thing and then you're getting this new offer and there's some kind of news about money with this offer. This can also be a love offer, okay? We did see this earlier. Um, it came up, I think, with the temperance card, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, yeah. So there's something about new love and it could have to do with schools in some way, learning, let's see what else, money, small sums of money and new beginnings. <laughs> it comes from you having cut something out. So I don't know if you're going back to school or if there's just a sum of money or you've learned something, but again, it comes from having said goodbye to something, cut something out, and you got something better. Cloud with the silver lining here, Taurus. Ooh, wow, Taurus, this is a great um, reading. You know, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in here too, in your energy. Let's, that can be a windfall. You know, not even kidding. It can be a windfall. Let's see what the cards say. Let's clarify that one before I go. There's a queen of swords. Now she's a person who cuts things out that don't work. I've said this a few times through this reading. Somebody very intelligent. This is representing um, your energy. Very intelligent, has been hurt before. You're kind of no nonsense about things. Some of you maybe shut your feelings off temporarily, but then there's this new love coming in and this whole new beginning. And I feel like you're getting some big gift from the universe, Taurus, because of that, because you cut out things that didn't work. Let's see what else it says. Yeah, and here's the Hierophant. Here's your Taurus card. So I feel like, I feel like they're reiterating because this was showing up in your energy. They're going, Taurus, Taurus, <laughs> you're getting this windfall. All right, I mean, could it be any more clear? Because here's your card. Now also your windfall could be about um, like something you've made a commitment to. It can be, sometimes this is a marriage card is another um, meaning of this. Sometimes this has to do with spirituality and we see a lot of spirituality, spirituality in this reading with all these angel cards that came up, okay? Temperance card, you know, all of that. So you're very connected with spirit. There, there is, there is a lot of connection in that way you know as we saw here this divine inspiration and guidance wow Taurus <laughs> I just can't say enough good about this reading let's just get final words for you any final words for Taurus amazing mind-blowing reading here's the magician again this is kind of where we started, you know, to be pulled at first. Here it is again, coming up as final words for you. You are manifesting things that you want. You're manifesting getting your wish. You're manifesting these new beginnings. You're manifesting new love. Your good karma is coming back to you. Okay. So there you go, Taurus. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Um, it's been amazing to connect with you, you know, after this little break where I've been on vacation and stuff. So um, I came back with fresh energy and you came in with amazing karma <laughs> and Chippy couldn't wait to be a part of it. He was really determined to pull cards for you tonight. So I hope that was okay with you guys, but 
Um, you all usually make such good comments about Chippy. I, I think you probably liked that. So let me know. Let me know in the comments and send Chippy a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. So thanks, Taurus. I think that's all I have to say. I'm just thinking, do I need to look at anything else here? No. I'm going to leave it right there. I, I want to leave you with this Ace of Pentacles because this is one of the best cards in the deck. You know, this and the star, for both of these to come up in your reading, this is really, really good energy. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with those. Take a good look at those. <laughs> this is your September. Okay. All right. Chippy, you want to say bye to Taurus? Come on. All right. You say goodbye to Taurus. Okay. All right. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks a lot. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> you look